Hello Libra Scorpio friends and welcome back to the Immaterial Garden. Thank you kindly for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. And don't forget to find us on Twitter at Immaterial Reads. This of course is the April 2022 monthly reading for you. You may want to bookmark this reading because it will serve you all throughout April. We're going to get right into it. We're going to see first of all what is the overall energy? What's the overall energy for this month for our Libra Scorpio friends? We do have the Queen of Swords energy. That is, Queen of Swords, it's about making decisions, it's about taking wise counsel, it's about being fair, it's about being objective, being fair, while still being able to uphold our, our responsibility towards others in terms of empathy, in terms of extending a hand to, to see if we can figure out some sort of harmonious, balanced, or peaceful solution. There may be something, some conflict, or there may be some decision, and it's calling on the best of you. It's calling on the best of you to step forward during this time and to really be centered and grounded in, your, in yourself, to be connected to your decision-making process and your and your decisions and the consequences and the impact of that. Also, maybe you're dealing with another, you could be dealing with a Libra, possibly a Virgo Libra Cusper. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. Tell me in terms of, we're gonna go immaterial messages, wealth messages and love messages. And then at the end, we'll pull messages that may serve you now and then some that may serve you later, all right? What is, uh, in terms of your immaterial messages, what are you being called to do here? Or what is your attention being drawn to? Because I feel like this Queen of Swords, either this Queen of Swords is bringing something out in you or you are the Queen of Swords and this is something you should pay attention to, okay? Yeah, we have the Magician card energy. Things are manifesting. Things are a bubbling. I feel like there is change. There is motion. Here we also have the Queen of Wands energy. So there could be something happening with an Aries, possibly a Pisces Aries Cusper. Either this person wants to make things happen with you, or this person might be trying to cast some sort of energies or spirits or magic onto you. But I feel like you're too smart to fall for this trap. You're too you're too far ahead. In fact, to be, to be real, I don't think you actually believe that this person has any true power. I don't think you actually believe this person has the ability to influence anything. <laughs> I don't think you take this person very seriously if this is a rival or if this is someone who's, you know, putting bad mood, you know, um, wishing bad energy or negative negativity onto you. For others, you are the freaking magician. You are the queen of wands. You are bringing life to whatever it is that you are that you were uh, producing or whatever it is you're putting out there. You could also be making uh, public judgments. You could be uh, maybe sharing your, being asked to share your, or inspired to share your opinions about certain matters or about certain conflicts or your resolutions or solutions, your suggestions maybe more out loud, starting a dialogue, starting a conversation, making something happen, sh shining a spotlight on something like, like, I feel like with the magician, for some reason, I'm getting like talk show radio host, or I'm getting um, television host, or VJ. So I feel like you're trying to, uh, maybe you're introducing something, maybe it's like a performance, maybe it's art, but there's something subversive within it that is a reflection of the world around you or the state of the world around you, okay? I mean, people are like, if it's music or if it's like art, this people are like, this track is fire or they're like, you are freaking, you're on fire, but they're not even really looking, they haven't really seen below the surface yet. And I kind of feel like, People first, it's gonna be like, oh, this is this is you know, this is a banger or whatever it is. But as they take a closer glimpse, a, a second listen, they realize you're actually revealing some sort of secrets of the universe. Okay, <sighs> something, some some high high grade high level shit is what I'm getting. Okay, all right. Um, you want people to turn on, to turn it up, to tune in. All right, uh, we also have the Two of Swords energy, Moon and Libra. 
there could be something significant happening with the timing in the moon of Libra, when the moon is in Libra, and um, I also feel like here there, there, there is some sort of buffer or some sort of protection, or there is something where Whatever, whatever negativity or whatever people, especially this maybe a, a particular rival or a specific person is sending your way, it's not, it's not making it to you. It's being rejected. It's being returned to sender. And ultimately here with the uh, Queen of Swords energy, I feel like you are being initiated into a way of life or into a lifestyle where honestly you have just anything from the past it just feels empty it feels ridiculous it feels like there's just no way that you can backtrack or backpedal that way you've just come too far you've learned too freaking much you know too much queen of swords energy we have the nine of wands so with the nine of wands there could be something happening specifically between the period of when the moon is in Libra and the, when the moon is in Sagittarius, all right? And ultimately here with the Two of Swords and the Nine of Wands, I feel like there's been... There, this is either a, a... I feel like this is straight up timing, so I don't feel like there's any blockages to be real. I feel like everything is a green light, everything is a go. You're, you are moving forward, moving past, moving beyond... And ultimately here, though, there's something significant happening in terms of your spiritual development. Or for some of you, you've already received some sort of message. This is a confirmation that, yes, it is going to happen around this time period, just as just as it has been, uh, just as you predicted or just as you've been, it, you've been instructed or you've been told is what I'm getting. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. What is the takeaway here? What's the takeaway? for uh, this first line of main messages, for immaterial messages. First Libra Scorpio. We do have the Nine of Cups energy. Yes, the cycle, you don't have to manifest anymore. You don't have to grind. You don't have to, you don't have to keep uh, putting your energy into this, keep reinvesting energy right now. Uh, it's in the bag. You've got it. It's already, it's already done. It's already here is what I'm getting, okay? Your, your, your dreams, manifestations, things are coming to pass. Things are coming to pass and not just in any which way in ways that are making you believe in that are that are making you put put more faith or believe in your spirit team the the cosmos in spirit source or god uh you haven't been disappointed yet is what i'm getting you are on a freaking roll and it feels like all of your decisions as as long as you are keeping an open channel between you and spirit source and god you and your higher self all of your decisions have been fire, okay? All of your decisions have produced, brought forth life, have um, reinvigorated either you or other people around you. I feel like your finances have also been invigorated, uh, but ultimately here, keep going, and there is whatever that, whatever you've been promised between when the moon is in Libra and the, the moon is in Sagittarius, it will be, it will be granted, it will be bestowed, uh, the universe is making good on on the resources, making good on on the dreams. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and take a look here, Libra Scorpio. What is the what's happening here in terms of your wealth, in terms of your money? What's at the center of your money for this month of April? We do have the Page of Wands. Could be something to do with travel or could be something to do with going on tour, travel, being mobile. I feel like it's get, taking the, the show on the road. I feel like for some of you, maybe you're going to, maybe you're going to record some sort of video diary of like your road trip or something like that. But I feel like movement, uh, travel, it's, it's linked to, it's linked to uh, exciting new opportunities, making bold moves, uh, having fun with it, taking chances, calcul but not reckless. It could be reckless, so be careful with being reckless, but, you know, taking calculated risks is what I'm getting because it feels good to challenge yourself. It feels good to, to, see, uh, to see what's out there, to expand your, your understanding, to expand your perspective as to what the possibilities are. But I also feel like you have some sort of 
invitation that's going to lead to a, a, a business offer that's going to lead to some sort of way uh, some sort of point in terms of your career could be with networking especially you might be meeting um you might be meeting an air sign a gemini libra aquarius i feel like this air sign they're either introduced to you through a fire sign aries leo sagittarius or this person when when you're traveling you're gonna meet this person i feel like this air sign they are uh they want to scout you or something happens where it's like maybe you're working maybe you're working you're helping to open a new location or you're you're helping someone while you're traveling you meet someone traveling and this person they happen to they happen to uh be a promoter they happen to be something okay i feel like you end up striking up a conversation i feel like you're the one though who be careful if they're approaching you. If the air sign approaches you or if this person approaches you, be really skeptical. But if you're approaching this person because you're like, oh crap, aren't you so-and-so? Or it's like, I know that you're so-and-so. Oh my gosh, like whatever. And you start up a conversation and it's like, this is, this is actually going to be an interesting connection is what I'm getting. I feel like you might spot someone. You might be spotting someone while you're traveling and it's someone that you want to, you want to pick their brains in terms of money in terms of finances marketing uh, or maybe you're just like you're just like socializing you know shooting the shit with them because they are an influencer or they're someone where yeah it's like you're not you're not sure be careful though be cool about it is what I'm getting with the moon card energy don't go directly into like trying to sell them on something or sell them something don't necessarily like hero worship them or something okay basically the attitude it's like be be interested be interested but be cool about it with the moon card energy hold some you know keep a little bit of that in in reserve in the reserves you know hold back a little bit and first try to you know maybe ask them like hey well are you enjoying this trip like anything cool happen you know uh you could you know try to talk to them relate to them about their feelings about you know what they're doing in the present what they're doing in the now uh, build a moment with them is what I'm getting okay in the present and and then you can maybe like a little later be like yeah you know I'm sorry if this is lame but uh, I you know I'd be embarrassed or I'd, I'd feel like I missed an opportunity if I didn't say like you know I love your work or something like that but I mean make sure that they know that it's not just because you're looking at them like bling bling dollar signs in your eyes uh, give them a human experience and I think they will really freaking appreciate it I feel like you run into a celebrity or you run into a big influencer or someone with a lot of money while you're traveling you recognize them uh we love fortune energy but it is just such a weird it's like a small world or it's just like what are the chances or that sort of thing but ultimately here i feel like fate is fate and fortune is smiling upon you you have an opportunity a chance to intersect with whoever this person is that might be able to to really give you impart some sort of wisdom to you or that might be able to introduce you around or you know whatever it is it's like they have the ability to maybe to uh, make your career or to help you to help you be seen be heard or to help some sort of ch help you achieve some sort of change in terms of your ambitions in terms of your money we have the sun energy yeah but i feel like this person they're a big deal uh they're kind of a big deal they're like a celebrity they're like a known person or an artist or something like that but ultimately here i feel like they really if you make them feel good and you make them give them a human moment they are going to they're going to give you a little something they're going to give you some sort of some sort of um advice or they're gonna give you they're gonna they might even drop you an invite is what i'm getting here maybe at first you know who knows maybe they're just being nice about it but i do feel like here i feel like they're being genuine they're being sincere they uh, if you call this number it will uh you will be able to get in touch with someone who you know it's with them or to be able to get in touch with someone who legitimately can set you up an appointment or something like that okay all right, let's go ahead and take a look here. As long as as long as you don't fan fan girl fanboy out is what I'm getting, and also don't don't let this person, this person they have a sharp a keen eye, and they've been dealing with a lot of people that want things from them. So, 
be as sincere and authentic as possible. That's all I can say. All right, what is what is the takeaway guidance here? Uh, we do have the Six of Cups energy. Yeah, I feel like you and this person, also it is possible that I, this person, they end up really liking you is what I'm getting. Maybe they're gonna tell you maybe that, that you remind them of their sibling or you remind them of someone that they know. Or even if they don't say this to you, I feel like the reason this person gives you a chance or whatever, I feel like you, you make them think about someone from the past or, or they you make them nostalgic for the past or they just, they, they like your energy, they recognize your energy, okay? Or maybe they're like, I feel like I've met, met you somewhere or, you know, uh, do we have any connections? Now be careful also, this person is very shiny and sparkly, so just make sure that, again, maybe this person could try to take you in, you know, maybe this person, you you might go up to them, but maybe they will try to manipulate you, or maybe they, like, they, they get a thrill, maybe they have a big ego. So don't go into this, you know, be sincere and genuine about who you are, about what your dreams are, but don't necessarily, you know, uh, fall for any sweet talk or whatever it is, okay? You gauge the moment as well. Are they offering you a real human moment? Or is this person trying to, you know, put on the shock and awe or trying to, you know, trying to flex, trying to um, impress or something like that, okay? Because that might be a red flag. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. What is at the center of the love messages? Love messages for our Libra Scorpio friends for the month of April. All right, we do have the Emperor energy. So you either have an Aries or you have a Divine Masculine energy that is coming towards you. It could also be that, you know, maybe you identify as the Divine Masculine energy, but Divine Masculine energy is ready, ready for change, ready for love, ready for union. We do have the Eight of Swords energy. You might not be, whoever, whoever is dealing with the Divine Masculine energy though, they're not, the feminine energy or the, the counterpart energy, whoever is dealing with the Divine Masculine person, they, they're not sure. That's what it is. That's the hold up. It's kind of funny because I think that the, whoever was representing Divine Masculine energy, no matter how either of you I present or identify in terms of sex or gender, they were they were the runner a lot of the time they were like mm, i don't want i don't want romance i don't want loyalty <laughs> or i don't know i don't want commitment i don't want long term i don't want a lot of things and now it's like divine masculine energy is like no no i really want all those things please <laughs> and uh the counterpart energy is like mm. <laughs> all right let's go ahead and see here we do have justice energy so yeah i feel like Whoever the emperor is, no matter, you know, whoever this person is, I feel like they they want to come into union. They want to they want to bring something to the table, something that helps you to trust them or helps to build trust between the two of you, a sign of good faith. I I feel like they mostly they want you to stop ignoring them is what I'm getting. So whoever, if you're ignoring this person or if you're ghosting them, they're just asking you, give me a fair, you know, sit down with me at the table. Give me a, give me a shot. Give me a fair shot. I feel like if, if this person has done no wrong and really you're just ghosting them or you're just avoiding them because you've got a, you're just like, you've got a lot going in, in your own head and, uh, you know, but this person didn't do anything offensive. They, it's not because you they triggered something in your intuition or they gave you like weird vibes. It's it, you you can tell it's your shit. You know what I mean? Then at least uh, at least maybe uh, open up the conversation. Give this person a chance to to say what they're gonna say. Okay. <laughs> For some of them, also, it's like there's something that they really wanted to tell you, or there's something that they that they wanted to discuss with you, but it's like suddenly it's or they're stuck on you now they can't get you out of their mind with the eight of swords but it's like you're gone all right come back someone's saying come back Libra Scorpio we have temperance energy but I feel like they are being patient the funny thing is maybe you're not getting back to them because you're like oh I left that person on red for like forever they're gonna be pissed or something like that but I don't think they're pissed I think that this person they 
I think that they're mature enough, they're secure enough. They might even laugh about it. They might tease you about it. If if they're like if they're angry in any way or something, it's gonna come more of off like they're teasing you and not in a way where it's like, uh, is that a joke or a threat? But in the way that you you'll both laugh about it, but you will be like, Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, that's lame. <laughs> Also to this person, maybe they just understand that they can't come towards you all confrontational because if they bring the temper, you're gonna also reflect back the temper or the anger, okay? All right, what else do we have here? We have the Seven of Swords. I feel like, uh, and the Five of Wands, yeah. I feel like there were unseen conflicts or you were having conflicts or you were having doubts, but you didn't share any of this with this person. I feel like they are, they're looking forward to having you get in touch with them and maybe starting the conversation, starting the dialogue, if there is a part of you that is interested in trying to make something happen, okay? We have the three of pentacles. Pick up the, you know, text me, communicate, pick up the phone, open your mouth, Libra Scorpio, because I'm not going to just, I haven't written you off, I'm not just going to write you off, but I, I, I want to know, teach me. Okay, I'm teachable. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and move into the last part of this reading. We're gonna get into um, we're gonna get into uh, messages that will serve you now, which will hopefully now will be anywhere from now until uh, mid month, and then we'll also see if anything any messages will serve you later, which will be from mid month up until the end of April. Okay. I did have, I already did post that the uh, Zodiac focus readings for the month. So please go ahead and take a look at that for your sun sign because those are the, the main readings for the month where you'll get the most relevant or uh, you'll get the most, um, ex you know, broadest range of messages. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and get into this. What is at the center of messages that will hopefully serve you now? We do have thief energy. Be careful, someone's trying to reach in your pocket or someone is, someone's been taking something from you, whether it's energy or money or whatever it is, okay? We have despair energy. I feel like you might have, you might be upset because you lost something or something was taken from you. I don't feel like it's like, just like, I don't feel like it's just like your wallet or something. I feel like it's like something that means something to you. It's, it's weird because you're almost like why would they take that it's not really worth anything it's more like sentimental is what I'm getting I feel like maybe someone took something or stole something from you because they they knew it was important to you this person this main female energy however they identify or present in the in terms of sex or gender this other person they they took it because because it was a memento because they wanted to have something that they knew that, that meant something to you because maybe they felt like you took something that meant something to them. Even if it was like someone chose you in a situation, even if you didn't know it, or even if you didn't choose this other person, whoever this, this, this uh, main female energy is, yeah, I feel like they were spurned in love, so they might have taken something that means something to you, or they could have been someone who maybe they're, maybe they felt like you took something from them, you took an opportunity, or you got something that they didn't get. Uh, and I feel like ultimately that's why that's why they, they pickpocketed something or they stole something. I get sticky fingers, so they took something from you that is rightfully, rightfully yours. Mature man, they could have taken something that was given to you by a parent, especially a father figure or a masculine presenting, identifying a figure in your life or a mentor or a teacher. They also, maybe they, maybe they, um, this could have been someone who, maybe they're your, your father's or your parent's ex is what I'm getting. And when they left, they took something from you because they were just, maybe they just were always kind of sour towards you. Maybe they blame you for the end of the relationship or for the end of this marriage. I feel like it's less third party situation. This could also be someone else's this could also be like one of your parents could have had another child. This could be your step sibling and your step sibling is really pissed that you're getting that you got what you got or you got to be raised the way you were. All right. I, I'm getting kind of getting like Black Panther vibes, uh, the movie Black Panther, like the Marvel. So maybe there's something there for you. We have distant horizons. Yeah, it feels like you and this person, you, you're from very different worlds or you were raised very differently. 
but it's almost like whatever you got that they didn't get they want it now okay or they they want to they wanted to punish you you might have recently met up with this person or whatever the the relationship is but i feel like when they left your house or when they moved out they took they took this item that was given to you that by someone who who you care about this person could have since passed and maybe that's also why you're wondering where this object is or you're just wondering what happened to this object because it reminds you of this person uh, we do have sudden wealth energy. That being said, maybe this person is going to come back. Maybe they are apologetic or maybe th they could be going through some sort of consequences or some sort of process of, they could be going through a process of healing and growth themselves. Maybe they feel guilty or they feel bad about taking this or maybe this object, you know, for all we know, maybe this object is haunted, whatever applies to you, <laughs> Libra Scorpio, and for you that would be possible, but it's haunted for them, but it's going to be blessed for you, but I do feel like uh, you might get this item back. Maybe someone who knows this person or is close to this person might be might recognize this object and might be bringing it back to you, okay? All right, let's go ahead and see what is at the center of messages that might serve you later. We have the two of pentacles. We have letter energy in the Sibylla. I feel like you're getting some sort of message. What is the message about? We have frivolity. So you're getting an invitation to a party. We have fortune. It looks like it's a, it's a black tie event or it's some sort of, you know, uh, hoity, uh, you know, a ritzy sort of gala or, or charity event or ball. We have old women. This might be a lifetime achievement award or this could be something honoring uh, someone someone who has been uh someone who's maybe turning like a golden age this could be for your your grandparents golden anniversary or for some sort of anniversary for your grandparents could also be something where this is old school this is old school money is what i'm getting but whatever it is there's a lot of powerful people there's a lot of um yeah the emperor energy you could even be, you could be going to the White House or you could be going to whoever, you know, some sort of, even if it's like a local level, you, the, the boss, the boss's house, a local celebrity, something like that. But you have a ticket, you have a ticket to ride. You have a golden ticket is what I'm getting. We have haughtiness energy. Oh yes. I feel like you're gonna, you're, you're not necessarily that impressed though, or it's like, even if you are impressed, it's like, maybe you feel a little bit out of place here is what I'm getting. Uh, you might be you might be someone's plus one you could also have something where someone's wife or someone's spouse or however this person identifies or presents in terms of sex or gender they might actually like uh, snub you or they might actually be looking down on you they could also be making a pass at you is what I'm getting we have wedding energy yeah I feel like you could also be celebrating someone's anniversary I feel like maybe you get along well with the you get along well with one of the people or this is like you know your favorite grandparent or something like that but the other the other grandparent or the other the spouse of this person maybe it's even like a um you know like a step a step per parent a step grandparent this person gets a little shady with you maybe they're always trying to make you feel like you're not as good as or you're not as deserving to be there uh, maybe as their kids are or as maybe as they are what do we have we have prison energy i do feel like some of you might feel like this is too stuffy um i feel like also be careful because there might be a someone might be trying to trick you or this could be a trap or they're trying to maybe they have ulterior motives for uh something that they say or something that they do I feel like you're thinking, should I go, should I RSVP, should I take this invitation? We have the world card energy. Whatever it is, though, I feel like what's going to happen, it's meant to happen. And trying to push it back is, you know, not going to help you in the long run. I feel like show up, face your destiny and, you know, keep your wits about you. But there is something here where you're putting an end to some sort of toxic cycle, toxic behavior, generational, like, um, generational like wounding or something like that but i feel like uh it's it benefits you it suits you to show up and represent in in whatever this this um world is that you're not necessarily that comfortable with okay uh it is as it should be 
All right, uh, that's what I have for you, Libra Scorpio friends. Please join me again. Gratitude to the divine, to you, and all of creation.